Good afternoon, boss. Good afternoon. So we're here to mow our one and only for today. No, we're gonna go do one more yeah. as long as we don't get rain. Um, because we gotta pick up a deposit for a landscape project. Down well, that, one. that and we were supposed to mow it yesterday, but, but somebody remember. gave us a frozen pizza. Remember, and we had to go home. So. Um, I just want to thank everybody for the whole speed feed video that we did. Um, you guys brought up some interesting points, but I had some interesting counterpoints. Um, and I'm not going to go to speed feed, guys. Um, if you want to send me one, I'll try. But I'm not going to go to speed feed because me person, and it's everybody's preference. Yeah. Me personally, I think I, I'm pretty sure I'll end up loading my head probably 30 times less a season than the average guy doing the same amount of counts as me so that's one reason because we carry 14 foot more of line um one of the other points was somebody said that i have to walk back to the truck get the line cut it they don't they carry it in their pocket well i could do the same thing every morning make sure i have light in my pocket pre-cut and it eliminates that step like you guys do yeah but now you brought on another challenge for carl Oh, I'm going to go Sunday to Sunday mm -hmm. without ever changing a spool. That way it's only done on maintenance day. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure I can do it. Also, a quick question with the speed feed head, because I was watching Spencer's little thing he put on, and he loves the black diamond line. And he was mentioning if you do thicker stuff that you have to put um, the thicker line in it. And the black diamond line is pretty good at cutting stuff. I've used it before, but I prefer the round steel line. But he said that if you don't use the thick stuff, it breaks off and you have to, it causes a lot of re-spooling. So that's the question, guys. When your line breaks off in the speed feed head, what do you got to do to put it back in? Um, because that is a good point because you guys know your line has broken off, even breaks off in my auto cut when you mm -hmm. weed eat something too much or a string gets hot. So what do you guys do? Do you have to re-spool the whole thing or can you just pop that cap off pick it up a little bit, stick it back in the eyelet, and you're good to go, like two seconds? Or do you have to re-spool the whole speed feed head? Yeah. So let me know, because there's pros and cons to everything. People don't like fumbling with the buttons and the wear out, but then doing this video, we got a lot of feedback on Instagram that a lot of guys, if you put too much string in the speed feed, it melts in the head. And what else were they saying about Well, the you speed posted feed? something on Facebook yeah. in the lawn pros. And they said that if they, load too much string in it it tends to melt inside the head and he said if you don't perfectly line up the eyelets or the holes it's sometimes tough to get into the yeah. straight on so so like somebody common i'm pretty much an expert at spooling my thing it goes both ways if somebody's new to the speed feed head and a novice at it they're not going to be able to line them holes up as perfect and they're going to fumble more with it well right and then there was another comment that um their employee was bumping Burn, too hard bumping and... too hard and burning through the speed feed head yeah and that's another thing if it's a novice employee and you can only fit 14 to 6 20 feet in your line they're going to blow through that line a lot quicker than somebody who uses a speed feed that has expert has been doing it for a while they're not going to yeah. eat as much string so it's both ways with both buttons but we do really appreciate yeah. all the all that the feedback fun. so it was fun fun and interesting yeah so okay we're going to get out and mow yeah, this big get one to work so okay guys rachel's got in that mode i mowed that i'm having issues with this pto again so I'm going to just mow this side road here with the 36. So you guys will get some more of me riding the mower. Let's we'll see if I can do it though. It's a little bumpy, this one. Guys, these clouds are starting to build right here. Look, let's see if we can get this weed eaten before uh, we get that to get that storm. Look out there. Nice, but I think we're gonna get rained on. 
We'll see. You got lucky, boss. All them storms missed us. Wow, that's good. So we made it through this one and didn't get rain. Um, we're going to be doing all new mulch along here, right from here to there. Um, new mulch all along here and then pine straw all along the fence in a couple weeks after we're done that big one. Or we might just sneak it in because it's such an easy job. But we did make it through this one. How you like my haircut, guys? The boss finally got me a haircut. <laughs> I didn't cut it. <laughs> our our girl Cody cut she it. She didn't style it because I was going back out mowing. Yeah. So we didn't get rained on really, boss. Thank so, goodness. Have you guys right? seen the storms in the background? Yeah. So while I was mowing, guys, I had to reflect upon some things. I can't talk bad about the speed feed heads until I tried them. Right, guys? Right. We're, we agree on that. So... I'm going to do a couple experiments. I'm going to run my steel trimmer from Sunday. I'm going to spool it up, go all the way as far, go two weeks. So if I have to spool it again, I'm going to run through our accounts for two weeks using the, the um, 0.95 steel line mm -hmm. on the regular head of the steel trimmer. Um, I'm going to run that for two weeks and get every account mode. And then after that, I'm going to switch my head up to a, a, to a speed feed. So let me know which one holds the most, guys. Which one gives you the less fuss on um, putting string in? I yeah. want to know the best one you guys think out there. Um, I'm going to go get it. I'm going to put it on my trimmer for two weeks and run through the same two weeks, the same amount of counts. Now, you can go back to a regular head once you do that, right? Yeah, yeah. 
I'm, okay. gonna, I'm definitely pro I'm we'll see guys maybe you'll change maybe you guys will change my mind but the whole theme is I've always said the time doesn't matter with changing the string out because I take a little break anyway and I blah 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 um that time doesn't matter but everybody hates changing string and tremors and if I'm changing 30 to 40 times less a year for my sake it, it's better for me I don't have to change it as a, much but I'm pretty sure I'm pretty decent on the line and I'll be able to get Sunday to Sunday on all 41 accounts without changing string at all. Yeah, we'll see. And right now, I'm actually, five hours in. I have half a roll left, and I've done 22 accounts so far. Yeah, I was actually thinking maybe of you putting the speed feed head on your old trimmer. No, it's got to be fair with power and everything. Right, right. Okay, right. Now, it isn't going to be a little fair because I would say I'm a novice, at a rookie at the speed feed once I try it. I'm going to have to get used to it. That's why I told you guys, give me the best one, the one that you don't have, that lines up the easiest, the string goes right in because I want it all to be simple. Yeah. And I'm going to, it's going to take a learning curve for me to get it, but it's the only way. I can't say I'll never use so speed you'll have feed to get if the I never biggest, tried it. You'll have to get the biggest one. I think people are saying the 450, but they'll tell us again yeah so let us know which one we should get and we are gonna get it and try and this we're gonna try it and see and then at the end Carl of two needs weeks to play his little games to get him through the season yeah yeah so we're gonna we're gonna run it for two weeks and see which one i change out the most and like i said i'll carry line in both my pockets for one for the speed heat feed i'll carry it like you guys said mm -hmm. and i'll carry it for the steel one too because everybody's saying well you got to go back to the truck and cut it like i said well not if i carry it in my pocket i yeah. don't i can do the same thing carry it in my pocket right. but i don't think i'm gonna have to no i don't think you're i think i'm gonna be able to go either. sunday to sunday and sunday to sunday and only change my line out once in two weeks so you guys know what i'm excited about uh -oh. i'm excited that we're still mulching I love our clients. I'm just excited that like really mulch projects have, you know, carried us through. So yeah. and the one's a pretty big clean up and mulch project. Yeah. So we have two mulch projects to do now. Yeah, and they're both gonna be huge difference. Yeah. Like huge difference. I, I think that we're gonna probably be amazed with both of them. So So guys, yeah. we really do appreciate you guys watching. So please like, comment, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. And be happy. Or at least try. Have a good night. Have a good night.